Okay, so I went to the antique emporium before I went to work. So I found this for three fifty. This button hook. This is what Victorian women would have used to um, help themselves button up their um, shoes. And then they would take one of these vinaigrettes and when they're about feeling like they're going to pass out, basically. And this will go with my mannequin. So I got the shoes to go with it. And I know this may sound, sound dorkish. I still want the silver one at Antique Emporium. So I will get that someday. And that will also go with my mannequin along with this one. I know that sounds dorkish. <laughs> now I got in this. I remember on Dr. Lori Live, someone had something similar to this. So I recognized this when I was at Antique Emporium. So this is a brooch dash pendant on a chain. So. I'm going to zoom in a little. Just so in case we see any marks. You can see the fine detail this way, but see this is a more modern. Obviously this is all glass and fake pearls on it. So, I was a little lucky because I guess they had this exit, the case that this was in accidentally open. <laughs> um, you really should when you're in an antique store if the, there's a case is to ask if you could see something in it. <laughs> so, um, I was just good enough to carefully shut it when I was done. So, but... Yeah, otherwise, um, I might be going back there again, um, Saturday, next week, Saturday after work. Um, so, there is some, a Masonic sash I've been eyeing on to, you know, there, um, so. But... It seems like I keep noticing things at Antique and Premium the more I dig around in there. That I didn't see the last time, you know. I think, like, there was even a mini tin type or something of an infant that you and I have a leaking towards it there, too. But please Subscribe if you haven't already to my YouTube channel, and um, please like, comment, and share the channel as it would help me get to a thousand subscribers on YouTube. And thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.